and the Dolphins will win the Super Bowl this year. But in all honesty, this wasn't that hard to predict. What is up, Finn fans? The Miami Dolphins have moved on from a good portion of their defensive side of the coaches, if my brain wants to use the words that are coming out of my mouth properly. So essentially, the Miami Dolphins announced that Boyer, safety Steve Gregory, outside linebacker Ty McKenzie, assistant linebacker coach Steve Ferentes, um were also relieved of their duty. So you got a lot of um, moving pieces that are gone on the defensive side. Um, I talked about this earlier today. I made a video earlier today talking, you know, talking about Bevel staying and then who I think are going to be gone. And I said, Josh Boyer, in my opinion, he's going to be gone. I think they need to make some changes, yada, yada. And in that video, let me grab my notebook. <clears throat> in that video, I gave you, um, Vic Fangio, Mike Zimmer, uh, Averro and Averro is still the core uh, the defensive coordinator for the Denver Broncos, but I expect him to possibly moved on from when they hire a new head coach. And I say Joe uh, Witt Jr., Cowboys defensive backs coach. But there are other names out there that I didn't really talk about. I didn't really delve too deep into who I would want to replace Josh Boyer with because I didn't know if it was a done deal. I didn't know if it was a guarantee. So there's other names. And I'm going to give you other names. But first, I want to show you this, right? I don't want to get your hopes up too much, but I want to show you this. From Marcel Louis Jacques, he says, The Dolphins lost several key starters to injuries this year, but it wasn't enough to save Boyer's job. Consider them very much in the Vic Fangio sweepstakes. If the Miami Dolphins can get Vic Fangio at defensive coordinator, I think that would be absolutely perfect because then Mike McDaniel can worry about the offense he can worry about scheming and <clears throat> all that stuff on the offense and Vic Fangio can worry about the defense and I want Vic Fangio when he was with the San Francisco 49ers like I said from 2011 to 2014 second uh his defensive was ranked second second third and 10th when he took over for the Bears it started off rough 20th and 24th but then he finally got his stuff installed, ninth and first. Then he became the head coach of the Denver Broncos. And that's where Averro came in as well, was under Vic Fangio. So if they could get Vic Fangio, I'll be ecstatic. But like I said, there's Mike Zimmer out there who is a defensive coordinator uh, right now in college with um, Deion Sanders. There's Averro. And like I said, there's other names, right? Raheem Morris was released from the uh, Rams. Very, very good defensive coordinator. Pick him up. Lovey Smith. He's not the head coach of the, the Texans anymore. Very good defensive coordinator. You could pick him up. Marvin Lewis. He's still out there. He was he constantly took the Bengals to the playoffs. Just going to win one. Very good defensive coordinator. Keep him out there. Chris Richard. That name might sound a little familiar to you because he interviewed here for the head coaching job when we ended up uh, hiring Brian Flores. He's the defensive coordinator assistant. Um for the Dallas Cowboys. And then there's names like um, Steve Wilkes. There's names like Tyler Austin. Uh, Matt Patricia's name could be out there, but I don't know if I'm going, I'm tired of going Patriot coach routes because they never work out. But all in all, uh, we are moving on from Josh Boyer. And like I said, he, and like Marcel uh, Louis Jacques said, you know, ton of key injuries on the defense from Agba, you know, Byron pulling whatever he did, <clears throat> Nick Needham going down, Brandon Jones going down, Trill Williams going down, we bring in Alexander, he goes down. There was a ton of injuries, but my biggest problem with Boyer was he didn't put his players in the best situation at times. And a lot of the play calls on defense were very poor, right? You're, you're sending a zero blitz, but you're going to have your corners five, six yards off then the quarterback is just going to throw a quick out, quick slant, a quick just a quick pass, and that zero blitz that you're sending isn't going to be enough to, to get to the quarterback when the pass is off in a second, and then it's the 
the receiver just has to break one tackle and he's going to the house. But then you flip it and you're with, you're in the red zone. He sends a blitz and the guy who's supposed to be covering the running back is blitzing and he just dumps it to the running back. It's a t- it happens. It's like a guarantee where those play, we get in the red zone. They're going to throw it to the running back or the tight end. Um, and the tight end will be on a block and go and be butt naked open for a touchdown. And it was, and there was no adjustments to that. The third and seventeen against the Bills in Buffalo, where he backs everyone up, but then you only send four. No pressure gets to the quarterback, and you leave your corners on an island, and allowing these receivers to run nineteen yards. The play against the Chargers, where we allowed them to march down the field and then eventually get, I think it was a touchdown before the half, when you backed it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I understand, like I said, I understand that he had to deal with a ton of injuries, but so did uh, Avero, the defense coordinator for the Denver Broncos, and he had a very good ranked defense. The Chargers, they dealt with Ibosa and Derwin James. They dealt with a lot of injuries. J.C. Jackson, and they had a much, they had a better defense than the Dolphins did. So, you know, I, I, I never wish for anyone to lose their job, and I never wish for any of that. And from what I'm hearing, if... Brian Flores gets the Cardinals job, which supposedly he's like a top candidate. I'm pretty sure Boyer's going to go with him in some aspect. But a change needed to be made on the defense, especially you have a top, you have the 11th ranked offense in the NFL and your defense is 24th ranked. Got to be in the same ballpark to have any, any chance. And, and, you know, their defense, the defense did keep us in a ton of games, but also we need the defense to make a stop and they would allow four or five minute drives and kill the game and, so the move needed to be made, especially because it isn't a Mike McDaniel guy. Now Mike McDaniel can go out and get his own guys. Uh, I am surprised that they kept the defensive line coach. I think the defensive line did decent, but could have done better. But yeah, the move has been made. I gave you a list of names. Go watch earlier today's video. I go more in depth on Fangio and Zimmer and Avero. And I talk about Danny Crossman and Austin Clark and, but there's a lot of names out there. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep you updated on who gets interviewed and all that stuff. Got a ton planned, a ton of videos planned. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. But the usual, stay classy. And fins up.